Okay, so what I'm hoping to demonstrate with this video is what happens when your system stops responding. Now this is not exactly what's going on here, but of course when you're trying to actually create a problem, that's when the system works flawlessly. So we're going to assume, for argument's sake, that this is a failure, that my site seems to have crashed, and I need to bring it back online. There's no um, perfect way of knowing this short of going in and checking to see if the server is displaying errors. And this happens when you're doing pen testing, when you're hacking servers, sometimes the server will crash and go offline. This is one of the reasons when you're doing information security audits, you want to make sure that you have a memorandum explicitly identifying what you're going to do and what can possibly go wrong and how the client or your bosses need to mitigate against that because sometimes things get broken when you're testing to see if you could break them. Okay, So in this scenario here I'm going to assume something has happened to my server and I'm going to check on it. The way that we do that is under applications, under system, you should find a application called VirtualBox. And as we saw earlier, VirtualBox is the virtualization software that we're using inside of Ubuntu. So again, click on your applications, which as I said before is similar to the start button in Windows. Go down to system and select VirtualBox. This will launch the VirtualBox Virtual Machine Manager. And there really should only be one virtual machine in this configuration. This is our target machine that we have running, that we have been attacking. Double click on it and it will shortly open up a terminal window, similar to what we have going here, except this is running across our virtual network. This is the virtual machine actually running, and it's interesting. You can see the activity. When you look at the status bar, you can actually tell the activity. I normally keep this hidden, but this is an indication that stuff is happening on your machine. So this tells me that everything is okay, that it's operating the way that it should. But again, we're going to assume a failure here. So what you do is you hit the shift key. You can hit any shift key you want. Shift key, um, space bar, anything, and it'll wake up the terminal. This is like a screensaver. The screen goes blank and it's waiting for you to do something. Now, if there were problems, we would see possibly this login screen, but we would also see a list of errors where it says Metasploitable Login. If you see a list of errors, first off, start, stop whatever it is you're doing. If it hasn't already stopped, stop the attack. There's no point because you're going to reboot this system. So stop whatever attack you're doing. Please ignore this command. This command is extremely resource demanding and I was hoping to cause the system to failure. This is actually considered a dangerous argument for the nmap command and I advise against you using it unless you really understand the consequences of what you're trying to do. So I've stopped my nmap command and then I go over Again, we're going to assume there's been some errors listed here, and I simply go machine, sorry, I go to input, keyboard, and insert, control, alt, delete. You can try doing it with a keyboard, but it's actually the most reliable way is to go to input, keyboard, insert, control, alt, delete, and that will force your target machine to reboot. Now unfortunately um, we don't really have the ability to hide this. Not easily, not that I'm aware of anyway. Maybe there is a way of hiding this now that it is running. But when I set up these virtual machines for our classes I designed it so that they would be running in the background and we wouldn't have to see this. But sometimes you start getting problems. They actually kind of look like the boot screen does when it boots up. So if you're having problems, you can always reboot your machine. You don't want to do it though indiscriminately because sometimes rebooting these machines undoes your work. So this isn't a fun exercise to try. This is something you do when you've had a problem. After it reboots, you can continue on with your attack. You can minimize these windows 
so you don't see them. And frankly, you can even close this one, but minimizing is probably safer. You don't want to close this one because it will probably shut down the virtual machine. We don't want that. So minimize and probably minimize as well. I hope that was helpful. I apologize for the beeps in the background.